An elephant soars above the bar. An orb glows on stage. A tea house floats on Lake Union. Artist Yuri Kenoshita makes light live. I discovered light is the best way to express myself. I also love the transition that each piece can make. The same work feels and looks very different with and without the light turned on. Yuri's lights are all over Seattle, like at Momiji, where at least I think this one looks like a polar bear, or Fran's Chocolates in Georgetown, or Girin, a steakhouse in Pioneer Square. Her one-of-a-kind works are on display in almost 20 restaurants and businesses from Seattle to Tacoma to Tukwila. She continues to be inspired by her family home in Japan. I grew up with a very old Japanese-style house yeah, right. in Kyoto. Right. So, and then um, my house had a small uh, garden. And light would stream in through the bamboo or the paper screens common in traditional Japanese homes. That's why she uses handmade paper from plants, like this bamboo fiber piece known as bamboo feather, or the larger version she calls bamboo wind. Takefuri is a, who is a wind. So, a uh, bamboo wind. <laughs> she does get a kick out of her work. Like these lamps made from kimonos, or this chandelier called branch light. I ask if the branches are from Asia. No. Hey, where are they from? From here. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to say from where in Seattle. <laughs> a hallway transforms into a paper forest, or a dinner table is engulfed by a web of paper and fabric. Yuri says her inspiration comes not only from her homeland, but from her new land. People here in Seattle say they have never seen such art. I get a lot of wows. The wows energize me. I feel much more creative here. This is why I stay.